Pinky! Pinky! Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to mix up Dolce she want no man. Pinky, the whole bulldog this morning, and I go kill that coat Monday. Mommy, come baby, me no. Quite, you not see mommy at all to Pinky. You lie. I went there holding. This morning, next time I try to go through Mr. Window and call the police. Thank you, Jesus. You're neither slumber nor sleep. Mm -hmm. It shall be revealed. You shall reap what you sow. What's done? Alfonso Brown, alias Bulldog. Yes, sir, Anna. You are the mongrel bulldog in your community. Charged for molesting everything that comes your way, including your own children and close relatives. When my God says you should not approach near relatives to uncover their nakedness, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty, Your Honor. Good explanation. In this court, you shall speak the truth, the old truth, and nothing but the truth. May God help you, and I hear that you are the father and grandfather of your daughter's children. Is that so? Speak up, Mr. Mongrel. Yes, sir. <laughs> Against God and man? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have a lawyer, sir? No, Your Honor, sir. Nobody no one represent me, Your Honor. So I'm here to represent myself, sir. Represent yourself? <laughs> now, what do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Mongrel Bulldog? Speak now or forever. Hold your peace. I'm me go them, Your Honor, sir. I spend whole heap of money upon them, you know, Your Honor. I take care of them after them mother gone, Your Honor. And that's why I trouble them. I don't have no cockroach for now, for, Your Honor. <laughs> Shut your mouth, boy. You're a sick man. It's how you get nature for your own flesh and blood. You should be flabbed with many stripes. Or better yet, you need to be hanged. By Order in my court. Leave. All judgment to me. None of us deserve to be alive today. But because of God's mercy, we are alive today. Let us make the best of life. For God's sake, stop molesting our children. In this court, I represent God, who is the highest judge to keep the law of the Lamb. So, I'm going to be very lenient with you. <laughs> You are hereby sentenced to 50 years in prison and 10 lashes every year with the chapter 9. Okay. Oh, dear, Anna. Please. Oh, Anna. Order in my court. I want this case to be an example to all you child molesters in this land. Remember, God sees everything that goes on in darkness. He will bring them to light. Now, sir. Take him away. Please. I never mean to do it. <laughs> you are bad. You're lucky the judges are Christian. I would have given a hundred years in prison and a hundred lashes every year with the same cat on It shall be revealed. You shall Message.
all child abusers and family raps. Remember, God will judge all of us one day. We need to stop the killing and abusing of our children. They are the future of our land. Take this as a warning, all of you. When you come in my court, I will have no mercy on you. Let us start caring for our children the way they ought to be cared for. Read Leviticus 18, 1 to 30. This court is now adjourned. Mama, you know I've been thinking, where's my daddy? I don't know him. Where's he? You know, son, he left us while I was pregnant with you. But you know what? You are named after him. His name is Mr. O'Neill Adams. I have sent letters after letters. I have told him about you, but I have not heard from him. Okay. Thank you, Mama. For you, sir. I am looking for one O'Neill Adams. Well, I am he. Who are you? This is your dad. My dad? O'Neill Adams, senior. Crazy. You look like me, yes? But I don't know you. The only father I know is Mr. Johnson. Yes, son. I know I make mistake. Listen and understand. Please, sir. Understand what? I don't have time for foolishness. Remove from my door. The only father I ever know is my mother and Mr. Johnson. They are the ones who sent me to university. They stood by me until I graduated. Talking about father. Father my foot. I apologize. I'm grossly sorry. I was in darkness. I'm a new man now. I accept Jesus as my savior. And he has given me a new life. I don't want you to make the same mistake. Listen, my son. My father did not support me. But now I know what true love is all about. Because Jesus showed me the way. Jesus just showed you the way now? I don't even know what to call you. Where were you when there was no food on the table? Please leave the premises before I call the dog on you. Please, close the gate behind you, sir. Please, son, I'm begging you. Please hear me. Please, listen to me. Give me a chance to make it right. Forgiveness, my foot. Son, I was in darkness. I was in sin. 
Jesus brought me out and he can do the same for you. I come to tell you, when your mother and father forsake you, look to Jesus Christ for true love. True love? What do you know about true love? Where were you when I needed a father to sit me down and teach me the ways of life? Where were you? No, Mr. Adams, what difference can you bring in my life? I have it all. What is it with this family? This must be a curse. Your father never supported you. You never supported me. And I have the same problem with my family. What are we going to do? Son, we will pray. We will pray. Son, silver and gold have I none, but I come to give you Jesus, which is better than money. I come to show you the way to eternal life. No money can buy that. Listen to wisdom. Rejoice with the wife of thy youth. For the lips of strange woman drop as honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. Her feet go to death, her step take all and hell. Her ways you cannot know. Hear me, my son. Depart not from the words of my mouth. Go not to the door of our house, else you give your ears of labor unto others. As I have done. And when you get sick, the strange woman will run away with all your labor. Then you say, I did not listen to my mother and father i did not listen to my wife and children cry for help no i'm left alone son listen to your children cry rejoice with the wife of thy youth let her love satisfy you do not embrace the bosom of another woman my son not everything that glitters is gold the ways of a man are before the eyes of the Lord. Do this now, my son. Deliver yourself from evil. Son, call your wife and children. Tell them you are sorry for the wrong you have done to them. Tell them you are coming home. Son, I love you. Let's make a new start from now on. Thank you, Mr. Adams, for your encouragement. Should I call you dad? Yes, I can. Yes, I think I want to call you dad. Daddy, please pray for me. And I hope that this family curse will be broken. And I'm going back home to my family. Thank you, son. Goodbye, son. God bless Bye, you. Bye, daddy. I will pray for you. To all the fathers out there, give some love to your children. And if you are not a father, just give some love to a child. Be a father every day.